today i'll talk about sales forecasting in fact i will cover briefly the forecasting methods and statistics and this lecture is part of my series of lecture on operations management forecasting is an art and science of predicting future events demand forecasting is a process of estimating future demand in terms of quantity timing quality and location there is slight difference between demand and sales forecasting demand relates to order received from customers whereas sales refer to shipment made sales or demand forecasting influences an organizational strategy that is future direction forecast of demand provide information on material labor and financial requirements forecasting horizon can be divided into three short term medium term and long term short term range from 0 months to 6 months and it is useful for inventory management and scheduling medium term range from 3 months to 2 years and is useful for production planning purchasing and distribution whereas long term is more than 2 years and it is useful for capacity planning facility location and strategic planning there are certain concerns related to forecasting process since forecasting is based on past data or past experience past may not always predict future it is as good as past data or quality of past information so these are basically two concerns forecasting can be considered as a system with input output and methods input include historical data relevant environmental information by environment i mean environment to an organization expert opinion sales people survey then there is method that is forecasting method which may be qualitative or quantitative and output is the result of forecasting and that result can be analyzed and that is performance analysis using forecast error there are certain constants constraints for example data quality time expertise funds and computing facilities these are certain constants these are the types of forecasting which are important for business organization sales forecasting financial forecasting economic forecasting and technological forecasting forecasting may be divided into qualitative and quantitative quantitative include time series analysis and associative techniques the qualitative method are subjective in nature and it require expert opinion the tool is human judgment on opinion and the disadvantage is recency bias and no good performance measure available quantitative methods are objective in nature they require historical data and the tools are mathematical or simulation methods and disadvantage is that it require historical data and require mathematical tools now let us uh, come to qualitative methods these these are the qualitative method one is sales people survey in this area sales person act as a source of information and the uh, information from various areas is consolidated at regional or national level delphi method is more systematic approach here a panel of expert is selected which include internal and external experts then coordinator develop and distribute questionnaire coordinator collect responses and then analyze results if there is consensus then it is okay if there is no consensus then we go to step 2 and these steps are repeated the other qualitative method is expert opinion then customer survey and part derived that is program 
project evaluation and review technique here the expected value is equal to the pessimistic value most common value and optimistic value it is a kind of a weighted sum where more weight is given to the most likely forecast so when to use qualitative methods when there is new product so we don't have any historical data and for long term strategic planning we require qualitative methods because most of the quantitative methods they predict early future then these are the quantitative methods these can be divided into time series analysis and associative methods time series analysis includes smoothing techniques smoothing techniques include simple average moving average weighted moving average exponential weighted moving average then we have arima model for time series i'll take a separate lecture on arima model of time series then we have extrapolation methods which in, uh, include binomial exponential method i'll illustrate with an example newton's divided difference method and langrange method for extrapolation the associative methods include regression techniques simple regression multiple regression and econometric modeling then let us see what is the theory behind smoothing techniques one is simple average so if these are the data points we calculate average of all these data points and it is somewhere in between so this is the simple average so this simple average is the forecast by this technique then we have moving average in moving average we consider only the recent data points let us say in this example we consider five recent data points we take average of these five points and this is the average so this is the forecast of moving average so we take either three period four period five period or n periods in calculating the moving average then this is weighted moving average here the weights are multiplied with the previous demands and the uh, weights are not equal to each other they are the uh, the most recent weight is more than the previous weight and it is more than the weight before that and denominator is summation of weights this is for example for three periods so the weighted average is slightly above than moving average and it is slightly below than the actual value in the future time then this is exponential weighted moving average in this it is similar to weighted moving average only thing is that the weights exponentially decrease when we go far behind time so if alpha is between 0 and 1 and the rule of thumb is that alpha is less than 0.5 if it is 0 and 1 so this uh, weight that is alpha for recent demand alpha multiplied by 1 minus alpha for previous demand and alpha multiplied by 1 minus alpha to the power 2 multiplied by previous de previous demand so since this is less than 1 alpha is less than 1 this weight continues to decrease exponentially so exponential weighted moving average is very near to the actual future this is the illustration of weights in simple average the weights are equal in moving average of course the weights are equal the only difference is that in moving average we consider recent points in calculation of average in weighted average the weights they decrease uh, with uh, time uh, the previous weights are less than the recent weights but the decrease is not exponential whereas in exponential weighted moving average the decrease in weight is exponential as we go in previous times so we can analyze the performance of forecasting technique we use and one of the method is by uh, using mean absolute deviation so this is the formula for mean absolute deviation this is the uh, summation of absolute 
difference between the forecast and the actual demand. Now let us see some of the uh, methods of uh, extrapolation. This one is binomial expansion method. So if uh, there are two values which are known, we can use this formula. If three values are known, we can use this formula. So uh, if five values are known, we can use this formula uh, to calculate the sixth value. Sixth value here is y5 because we count from y0. I'll illustrate this uh, with an example. So uh, if this is our data, in 1997, the demand is 150 units. In 1998, it is 235. In 1999, 365 and so on. And we need to calculate demand for 2002. We can use the formula for uh, uh, because we have uh, the five values available. We can use this formula. So by using this formula, we arrive that the demand for year 2002 is 1275 units. Then there is Newton's divided difference method. In this, we calculate the divided differences. This is the table for divided differences. And by using this formula, we forecast the future. I have taken the previous example as it is. Uh, the year in, in the year 1997, we have a demand of 150 units. Similarly, we need to calculate demand for 2002. And uh, this is the divided difference table. I have calculated the divided differences. Uh, 235 minus 150 divided by the difference between these two is 85. 365 minus 235 divided by the difference between these two is 130. So, so on, we uh, make this table of divided differences. Then by using this formula, we can actually calculate the demand, future demand for the year 2002 that comes out to be 1274. And this is very similar to demand which we uh, have forecasted from the binomial expansion method it was 1275 and here it is 1274 then this is langrange method in the langrange method this is the general formula and this is the specific formula when we have uh, the four given values and we need to calculate the fifth value so i have taken the the similar the same example as previously and i have taken only the recent most four values to calculate the fifth value. Uh, so this is the fifth value, that is the de demand for the year 2002 comes out to be 1195. And this is very similar to the demand which we have calculated from the previous two techniques. Now quickly, let me talk about uh, the filtering techniques or transformation techniques for time series. Uh, one is differencing and uh, there is decomposition i'll take a separate lecture on decomposition of time series and uh, in my lecture on arima modeling i'll talk about uh, the uh, logic or theory behind differencing then the other filtering techniques include adaptive filtering and uh, these two filters so this is all for today thank you very much